Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy, welcome to part 29 of Final City, Final Town here in City Skylines 1. Yes, it's now September 2023 and it's roughly a month to go before we get to City Skylines 2 and I'm really looking forward to it. So yes, in episode 28, I've been monkeying around in this area, building out this area for unique factories and as you can see you know we made like a, a very interesting train uh, loop basically all around this like that that and that and like that and also connected the stuff up here to this uh, well interchange whatever you know this thing and made a connection here as well so tra traffic can go around and I said to you guys, like, you know what, uh, in regards to this, uh, you know, this uh, ship building place, I wanted to raise the level of the water. But look what I have already have done. I already raised the water. Yeah, because I did a little bit of finagling in between. And what did I do? I made the exit here narrower. I placed a few water sources in here. I also made the area narrower over here. So as you can see the water is now flowing pretty fast through here and that has raised the level of the water here which now basically made this more plausible you know this shipyard and ships are being built nice i also uh, raised the level of these things you know put the pillars at the same level now everything is a little bit more reasonable yeah very much more reasonable so time to connect some train lines because in the last episode i was a little bit flabbergasted because i thought that this line over here you know that went that way that way that way and ended up here i thought that it would be going all the way towards uh these areas you know where we have like um ore here and forestry over there and we have like some farm over here but that was not the case so the idea is sort of simple we are going to basically connect it from here we take a line from here take there 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 you know uh, probably underneath this airport and then we take it straight uh, to this farm area and if you look around here there's also no train station at all you know no cargo station at all so everything is done by truck apparently so we are going to uh, s you know snug in a station here um, then we will bring basically that line over here this side now here the connection point will be a little bit tricky but we are going to use one-way tracks to bring the stuff basically in and out and we make sure that it all happens on the right side of the track so that no trains are really crossing each other you know on the left side yeah that's the entire idea so we are starting here on this point so let's get out of this view just like that and here we are going to start making the line going into that direction so let's try this out shall we so we are grabbing this thing then this thing and let me turn down my amp a little bit and let me have a look at this stuff so can we get over this let me have a look was that too short you don't need too much height it's like six mm, it's a little bit on the short side seven eight let's see is that doable oh it's a little bit tight it's a little bit tight uh, no, I don't like it. So we're going to delete that and that. Pause the game. And we will make this this rope just a little bit tighter. Yeah. A little bit tighter. So we do it like four. And then we do a three by three. So how much is this? It's like a 12. Okay, if we want a 3 by 3 there, then I just need to add another 9. A 9. And then here we take the bend option again. A 3 by a 3. And we connect that up to there. Problem solved. Great. Now, now we have some space for that train line. So we can now plank it underground. Hey, look at that. We'll keep it, no we actually keep it above ground because we have like this big river there and that would cause problems if we want to put it on the ground no we're not going to do that 
So we bring this up to 12. Then we can just bring it over to there. And this is now directly going over that road, which I do not like. So I'm going to take it from here all the way up to there. And these two we are going to connect with the connection mod. Yeah, connection mod. So that's this thing. So we connect you and you. So equalize this a little bit to the maximum band. You know, let's keep some space in between. Something like that. That will work fine. And here we are going to cross the river. So we make like a lovely bridge. Zoop, to the other side. Whoa. Yeah, we can play with the elevation later. Select this option. Now we have to check out where we need to go. Okay, we need to go underneath this train. A uh, train. This airport. And then we have to get so all the way to there. That's a long run, but hey ho, hey ho. So let's have a look at the land then. Uh, yeah, we just uh, bring this down. Just like a 12 home like that and then we select this option we we'll just take it you know across the land here it's a little bit bumpy but no problem so here yeah i'm going to make it go under and i make sure that it will go under here roughly yeah that's the idea so we let's go underground let's have a look here what would work the best? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I think actually here, if I put it on the ground here, there's nothing. I mean, that would that would work the best. It's a little bit further away though. Hmm. Yeah, you also have to consider length. Uh, you know where you're going to. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, start roughly from here, yeah. So 12, that's fine, but then I'm going to make it go down even further to minus 24, like that. And yeah, that will pass this without issues. And here, ah, we have like collision. You can see that because it lights up orange. That means like there's that, you know, that, uh, what is that thing? I think it's a metro, I think. Yeah. Oh no, that's the, the footpath. Huh. Yeah. So I have to make this go, go deeper a little bit further. So we make it like 32. Now it's not lit up a, a, anymore. And then we bring it further. And that's working out nice. So what is going on here? So oh, this is not even on the ground. Ooh, okay. Also, this is not on the ground. What? 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 Come on. Oh man, come on. Okay, let's try this again. Actually, this has to be. You know, this has to stay on the ground like that. And then we need to connect it up to there. We have a little bit of a, you know, a, a bolt in the landscape, but hey ho, hey ho. So we go from here and then from here, 12. No, not 12, minus 12, like so. And then 12 home. And this is a tight bend, not an impossible bend, but it's kind of tight. Can trains make this bend? Yeah, I think so. They will. They will. I'm not even going to argue with myself about this. So let me grab again the train line. This one. We go underground and then we are going to this side. And now we have to bring this line all the way to this farm area over here. Now we have this river running over here. So we need to go under the water there as well. Okay, so we keep it nicely at this depth. So I say like maybe even going deeper. Oh, to minus 36. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa, we have like a collision here. Okay, let's see. What can we do about that? Let's bring it up then. Whoa, it stays in collision. 
how far do I need to bring it ah okay so I can bring it down like that okay now no more collision yeah that's fine and we bring it to minus 42 over there and we basically can take this thing all the way towards that uh, that place although here it's like <laughs> colliding <laughs> I don't know why lower higher ah, I need to make it a little bit higher okay okay fair enough minus 19 I mean, you can collide the stuff. I mean, it, that would not be the end of the world. But, I mean, I don't like that kind of stuff. So, uh, here, I bring it down, actually, again. To a just a minus 36. And then, from here... Uh, there. Okay, now I need to, sort of, figure out where I want the train station here. Now... These are the cargo, the warehouses, <laughs> you know, and let's speed up the game also a little bit, like that. Okay, so, okay, let's utilize a one-way road, like this, and then let's get topsoil. Uh, we bring it then from here because that's the space we definitely need there and then we connect it up to there and from there to there I yeah I think so yeah so uh, we take the cargo station which is this one so we need to get a little bit of space between that and uh, my life how is this ever going to how do i ever going okay i'm going to delete that road yeah we're going to delete that road and then we bring this a little bit further to the left although it does not give that much more space but we have to do with it bring this down 12 down and then what do we have there it's lit up orange can we make it go down oh come on you can do it what's that thing here? what is that thing here is it really at the same height or not 12 no oh come on are you kidding me? So this is 12. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just put it there. Oh, it deleted it. Pause. Well, let's see. This is a... Uh, what is this thing anyway? Oh, that's the footpath. Ah. Okay, so we are grabbing the footpath. That's this thing. This thing. And... It was at a depth of minus 12, which is kind of odd because I tried to get it underneath it, but we make it just go deeper to minus 20. Minus 20. And then we delete this part. And from here we can just hook it up to there. Look, no problems. You know, it goes a little bit down there, but you know, it's just a footpath, which is fine. Great. Now we are going further with this. We can basically take this down, also to minus 36, like so. Now, where is that other train line? Oh, it's over there. Look at that. They're made for each other. Yeah, love at first sight. So you go connect to there. Far enough on the ground, so hopefully no issues there. Okay, great. So. Uh, let's resume. Um, so they come in here and they drive out there. Mm. Yeah, I guess that should be no problem, I think. I hope so. We will see, we will see. Now here, um, let's see, I need to uh, figure out a way. Let's see, where do we need to go? We need to go that way, yeah. So, can I get over this or under it or 
let's see it's like a nine okay so probably we can get over it do nine by nine even a ten is possible i think that will do yeah i think that will do so we take it from here we take this option to just the other side let's select this off so we have like oh man we barely have any control over this okay you go there uh let's see we need to go there to the right okay we need to go over all these roads so i'm i keep it in the air just for the sake of it and most likely we can make a lovely bend over here just something in the order of 15 by a 15. You didn't go that direction oh yeah that works that works great now we need to take that to this train line over here it's going to be interesting also i'm going to bring this to the ground i think from here you know i think that works fine like that and then we take this option so we keep it to the ground so like that to that and here it's meeting up this road okay so in that case how far is this this is like a 31 so we add like 13 no wait a second uh 30 12 18 19 19 ah, let's make it 18 it's fine we have a little bit of room to spare so we bring this also up 12 by 12 to the other other side bring it down and then bring it all the way over there and now the magic needs to happen because we have to you know basically hook it on to places how are we going to do this so we have incoming and outgoing now on the other hand it would be possible to put this thing over here and then connect it up to there and then flip this thing around yeah okay so let's use a move it mod and then say like you we are going to delete you sorry delete also this is the train triangle and i'm going to hook it on on the other side which is then here yep has to change a little bit here you know that's not a disaster also here the same thing not a disaster so we take this train track again take the bend option again and then here we connect it up to there and here sitting under that road we pick it from there so let's see how that goes seven by seven and then hook it up to there yeah that will work pretty nice now let's see if we have some excessive notes on this train triangle not there here we have you see two notes too close to each other so we remove this one and here everything is fine yeah okay so what we need to have now is like a secondary of these things so we can connect this thing up again so everything is now connected now let me have a check here we have some trees a little bit of too much trees uh, let's turn off the lock turn on the lock uh, just make this a little bit smaller and remove the trees from here like so and I have to I have a look at this line here because there's something fishy going on here. It's like I, I'm seeing sort of a line here. I don't know what it is. It's like, hmm. You see that here? Also that bump. Bump. Okay, so maybe what I need to do is grab this thing and then we elevate it to bridge mode here, here here yeah and then we take the sloping tool this one from there all the way to there holy moly okay so we need to do a little bit of training T 
Training, training. Okay, so we actually lower this a little bit, so it's it does look like more like a bridge, something like that. And this is something here we keep at the same level, and then we are going to smoothify this a little bit, something like that, so nobody sees the difference. And actually, it looks not bad. No. Let's see what's going on over here. Well, nothing. I mean, it's just going over a bumpy road. Bumpy terrain, I mean. Uh, also here, let's select the node controller. Select this option and then slope that. Uh... Yeah, we can do a little bit, maybe here with the training as well, and make it a little bit more softer. Yeah, it does go up, I mean, it is what it is. Also here, this runs pretty fine actually, trees are not really a problem. This station should use a bypass. I don't see any uh, excessive trucks going in and out or whatever. Even though we are playing with despawn mode off. How is the traffic doing? 88% still fine. Here's a train leaving. Yeah, this thing definitely could use a bypass, but that's like a headache for another day. So we have now more incoming stuff that can go straight towards this area. You know, the unique factories area. And uh, like I said, I already fixed the issue here with the um, with the shipyard, so they are requiring some metal, so probably they are en route. Yeah. So the question is, can we add a few more thingies over here? Well, probably we can, so we grab this road. We take this option, we turn on the snapping again, all the goodies. And we can bring this over from, if I turn also on all the, come on, all these snaps. Yeah, that makes life a little bit more comfortable. And then from here, we go a little bit closer by, we do a 4x4, four four, bring this over to there. And actually I'm bringing this down to there, and then we do another 4x4. Four and I want to bring this end to there. Uh, I, I'm not sure how this will go. Is this like... Oh, it's an 8. Perfect. So I can make a... No. From here. A 4x4. Four four, connecting that up. And then connecting this up. Yeah. That frees up some space over here to create something. So what will we put there? Let's just see. We grab a unique factory. So we don't have the printing press yet. That's not a big building. How about this one? A lemonade factory. Oh man, look at that, how that fits. So, that's juicy. I mean, literally and figuratively, juicy. You know, for the juicy, crops and glass. Crops and glass. Okay, so we need to go to the farming industry and we need like a silo. A silo. Talking about crops, you know, look at this. Uh, we put that over there, and at the same time we are grabbing uh, one of these. And in this we put like the glass. And we yank this up. Yeah, perfectly. I mean, they can bring it out there, there, and eventually it will down go down in here. And they bring it in to here. Yeah. I rather bring it uh, down to this road because then there are like three options like this station, this cargo station and as last one this station over here. Yeah. Yeah, so we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Um okay, we had this road. No, we have this road and this road. So this road was bringing the stuff only to these guys, which is fine. Uh, these idiots are still parking there, no parking, no parking, so they can go around, go around, 
and then basically we have some space here also to, to do more stuff so we can go up here like that and we can just maybe we can put like a whole bunch of little uh, unique factories here I mean just the smaller ones let's say a seafood factory which is not you know the biggest one so let's put that there then we have the printing press put it next to it we have a toy factory building already exists thank you we have the sneaker factory no that's a rather big building okay so what else what building is this semiconductor plant yeah it's fairly okay and what's this uh, hard to say and what is this a shake brewery well that's a very small and this thing that uh, seems pretty whoa that's bigger than I thought okay let's move that slightly to the right like so yeah now the question is plastic glass metals plastic glass metals paper plastic so those are four fish hmm. fish uh, I think I think we have a little bit too less of space over here but no problem we can just take this road and just take it up there like that we bring it just alongside that so we can just place this building if I'm correct over here is that possible is that even why are you sticking over come on oh man really really uh, okay so if I then take this one and put it there and then take this building and put it there it's not sticking over anymore no it's not it's sticking over here what is it what a weird building is this I don't I don't even like this building this way get out of here I don't like you I, I already don't like you so I hate you go away get stuff go past them a smoothie factory yeah we can use a smoothie factory so we can just also move this a little bit to the left it's a little bit too far to the left so we have three blocks available there no one to the right so that should do and then we have a little bit of space left here for a few smaller items let's see I know this thing is pretty large Seacoot uh, sea fanner, sea Fannery, yeah, proper English building already exists. Probably applied it somewhere at the fishing, fishing area. Okay, I need to have a look at that. Uh, what else? What else? What is this? This is like Indiana Cotton Mill. How big is that? Not too big, so I can live with that. And then this thing is like a small electronics factory. It actually fits. Oh, look at that! How lovely. Now the question is, like, how many kinds of warehouses do we need for all this stuff? Uh, I think at, at least four. So, but even that's okay because we can just say from here, you know, from there to there to whoa a little bit too much anarchy from there to there now now let's put some warehouses just there 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 and there also here now I have to be a little bit clever because I, let's see what this thing needs okay plastic glass and metals those I have seen so let's start with those uh, plastics, glass, 
and this one we will fill with metals now this one also needs paper and plastic so paper uh, I need extra space for paper okay so then in that case we make an extra road here for paper hmm. just like that so we can put that there and then we put in here the paper that's not paper that's flower paper they can just go in and then go to the left paper yes and this thing crops of course and plastics okay uh, what can I do I mean crops is something we can arrange because that building is not too big just a silo uh, which we can just point down right there no issues no dramas and a lot of plastic I mean this uses plastics plastics and plastics so I would say like an extra warehouse for plastics would not hurt um, I wish I could just you know make this go straight you know, there well let's pause and say like works all also fine so we take this road and then we bring it up to there and then from there to there great so we can take this one put it there and put in there the plastics yes plastics so now these guys what do these guys need uh, plastic glass and metal so that's the same stuff which also these guys can deliver so this needs animal products crops and plastics animal products okay so I'm this thing I'm going to put like animal products uh, plastics so more plastics you know what I'm going to put also plastics in this one and also more crops so I'm going also to put like a silo over there and the last one it requires fish fish that's kind of interesting because I don't have any fish uh, storage over here at all okay but that does not mean we cannot get it um, okay fish um, fish Fishy, 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 fishy. Okay, we might be apply somewhat smaller. Can we put one here? Yeah, why not? We can also put fish. No. Animal products, flour. Oh, fish. There's a fish. Yeah. Nasty cough uh, I'm having lately. Still. So let's put some wait a second wrong button this one this one let's put some uh, parking lots here left and right there and there and then also there and also there and there and also there and also in the next episode I'm thinking about you know getting the people also over here using metro systems whatsoever uh, I th th there was also a spot where I forgot I think yeah here parking lots although there are parking lots on the other side so that will do the trick I guess yeah so this is okay one over there yeah seems okay now regarding the fish I in principle I can you know there's water there's more than plenty of water I can make just simple fish over here. I think maybe there is like a, you know, with this fast flowing water, it could be that there is like a salmon, uh, you know, um, you call that stuff. Let me check it out. The blue stuff, yes. The blue stuff is, um, oh yeah, tuna. Look at this, it's all like tuna. Oh, that's nice. Can I just place, you know, can I just place a. Uh, just a fishing thing over there let's see is this something that I can easily do um, 
the fish it has to go to that building over there right so yeah it's more like from this side um, Okay, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming because I want to have that fish thing closer. So I'm going to do beep. Well, it seems like sort of settled by now, so let's get out of here. Let's also grab the tree thing again, because there's still some trees in the water. Just like that, remove those. More trees. I think we have them all. I think so, yep. So let's see what we have, uh, what kind of fish we have. So it's like all yellow, which is anchovy. So let's see, this is anchovy, yeah. So we put like an anchovy there. An anchovy there, anchovy there, and anchovy there. You know, in reality, it does not really matter what um, you know what type of fish you catch. It's just you know, as long as you catch some fish. Okay, let's unhook those roads with this thing. So you, 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 and you. We delete that, and then we going to grab the two lane road from here select this option go all the way through here now it's vital that actually this fish is coming in from this side but uh, we know that the fish has to go to if I'm not mistaken this building yeah fish over here so actually if possible you know i want those guys to enter there somehow to get to that warehouse which will they can enter here and then make a road back that leads you know back to this area wow you know that's like uh, interesting okay so let's um, first of all align this whole schmuck to the <coughs> key wall point like that and then we have like a little bit of this uh, glitching effect that is because because with the movement mod if you if you bring it at the same height it just pr puts it a little bit too low that's why it's glitching so you select it and then you page it up one time and it's done page up one time done page one time on done and page up one time and it's done done Great, so we take this, we make a U-turn of like 3 by, let's see, 3, 3 by 3, we bring this there, now this has to go there, yeah that's fine, so in essence we will bring this underground, like so. Oh, using the right option just a 12 by 12 thank you then we make a bend that is not going to conflict the other road so a 10 by oh come on are you kidding me a 10 by 10 thank you and that will go up again and yeah we can make it go above ground here also so we do a 12 press home and this can just go in there and it will deliver that stuff mostly to this warehouse over there now after they have taken this to this warehouse i want these guys to bring it there and then bring it back <laughs> this is so interesting you know and now we bring it underground here again they go uh, they go here like that and that will be hooked up back to there. Oh man, this is so. This is so nice, you know. It's really nice. So we do, do we six, 
6 by 6, yeah, that's working, just on the ground, it's all fine, we need to keep on the ground anyway here, because we need to get under that road, so blah, 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 and blah, blah, okay, flip you around, and, you know, in essence, we have like a connection made, that brings basically the fish nearly literally to this warehouse over here which is nice uh, we have all like parking idiots over here while we have also parking lots uh, i don't like that so let's remove that yeah so uh is it still anchovy over here let me have a look yeah it's still anchovy over there yeah 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 okay so how long are we going to make this stuff uh, let's see uh, we take this option so there they can do it here we go they will do that perfectly fine actually uh, yeah so they will basically bring everything now to this one yeah oh these idiots parking here again no parking, no parking, no parking. Yeah, I just put these roads here, just just like that, you know. So everything is still parking enabled. It's my own fault, you know. I think parking enabled, parking enabled, also here, parking enabled, and here. I disabled it. Yeah, that's fine. That's all fine. And um, you know here. You know, to make a little bit of lane math working out pretty well. It's like we can use just the highway section. Like toink and toink, toink and toink. And, ooh. Wait, 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 wait. We use the move it mod and we slide this a little bit there. So the parking lot is still available. And here these guys can just, can I do shift S? No, I can't, I cannot. You go there, you go there, you stay there, you stay there, and even there, yeah, here you, yeah, you figure it out. Figure it out yourselves, bunch of clowns. Also, we're going to make you a little bit bigger, just like that, so they will drive on. And we adjust a little bit of the speed to the 60, 60, 60, the 60. 60 Oh, I, cry. I took the 90 60 60 60 Yeah, that's all 60 Many of these roads are still 40 Because I placed them just yet 40 So we make it 60 Yeah, and definitely we will see a, You know, several uh, where, uh, Unique uh, factories that are still screaming for products but that's like something that we will have to um, you know check later like okay what products are needed more so we can produce more of that kind of stuff and you know that should do the trick actually you know yeah yeah this is 60 that's 60 that's fine 60 how about that this road actually yeah this also needs to be a 60 Yeah, so they bring in the fish. They bring in fish. Is there already some fish over here? Fish? 3% full of fish. I'm curious, you know. Where are these guys now going? You know, they should go to that warehouse. Yeah, they go to the small warehouse. Yeah, I just... Just as I thought, they are go going to this warehouse. Yeah. Return to facility. And what kind of car is this? Okay, that's just a car. That's a biofuel thing. What I need to see is like a fish truck. 
We'll have one spawn here. Where will a fish truck spawn? There we have one. And you're also going to the small warehouse. You are great. <laughs> very, very great. Love it, love it, love it. So, what we accomplished now in this episode is like that we have the train line connected, which is nice. We added a few more um, um, unique factories. Um, I think off screen I will insert uh, the remaining unique factories. There are not that many more. And I will let the game run for a while. And then in the next episode we can check out like, okay, which kind of uh, goods are missing? What do we need more? For example, maybe more plastics, maybe more crops. We don't know. We will just see how that will go, how that will... Um, yeah, how that will basically end up and then you know and then i also want to tighten up this place in the sense of like you know look at this building it's just sitting here there's nothing around it and you know like i said in the in the beginning of uh, this whole series it's like it it should be more like a nice looking series with, with you know with more stuff in it you know more decorative stuff and uh, so far that has been missing a little bit so but i still want to do that so Okay guys and girls, thank you for watching this episode 29. If you like it, hit the like, uh, subscribe and the bell icon that you're seeing now here. And uh, I will say like, see you in episode 30. Okay guys, see you. Bye bye.